Good day to you and welcome, I'm Bakerization and today I'm not gonna play the game, I'm just gonna tell you or show you a deck which I have played a bit, and the version is no more 1.0, it's like 1.2. So, it's this anti ego warrior. I've created it about two weeks ago when I actually wanted to play, uh, wanted to play Hearthstone a bit more. Now I'm at around rank 10. Haven't played it much, just about let's say 70 games. And well, this one did come handy at the start of the season. And as we're getting towards the end of the season, it might once again get slightly more viable. Now, as of now, as of right now, as of 23rd of May, this is not a good idea. You will not have a lot of control or, or aggro decks, like really aggro decks. You might have some zoo, you might have some shaman, but you will probably deal a lot with rogues and mages and those shamans and paladins. But the zoo itself got a bit lowered, there are no, almost no more hunters. And this was really created against uh, zoo, against hunter and against aggro shaman. In, uh, aggro paladin in mind. Shaman just beats it because it has four health minions, which you have a hard time dealing with with this deck. So let's introduce you this deck. We have execute. Uh, definitely you always have to have double execute in warrior. I think that you can't really play a game without it. Shield slam just because sometimes you pull out a combo in combination with some, something such as bash or your hero power of the Justicar or at all you can very often get it. I think that one copy might be enough and if I were to include one blood acre, which I will, it will be definitely better. Now there is upgrade for your three weapons, if I remember correctly. You have this Nozoth first mate and you have Fire War X. Now this might not justify upgrade for some, but if you use upgrade by itself, you get a 1-3 weapon, which is kind of like a Nozoth, uh, like Nozoth's first mate. But against some aggro decks, this is really necessary because they have those one health minions which you want to deal with. And if you get out Nozoth first mate and you upgrade it, you have a 2-4 weapon which is... that's a zoo killer. Almost every single day. Also with Fire War X you have 4-3. Three. 3 charges are amazing. Now the next is Whirlwind. Whirlwind is obviously needed against those little guys that uh, very often Zoo has or Hunter has. They have this Unleashed Hounds, they have this tentacle thing where they cre can create up to seven of them. So Whirlwind is necessary, but I think that only one is okay considering that there is Double Cleave, there is Slam, there are two Armorsmith, there is Screw Dust Muscat, which is kinda old school. There is Battle Rage for you to get more card draw, there is this Blood to Icar right now, which can deal with something, and also char uh, start the Execute. There is Sparring partner, partner. Now, Sparring Partner is really good in combination with Hellscream, Isera, or even the Frothing, because or Armorsmith. If you get frothing against smaller enemies, and you can, you sometimes want to keep him behind, but if you get him against the uh, two health minions, you can very often trade two for one if they can't really accept it, or trade for it with, uh, let's say, Dark Island Dwarf. Now the next one is Bash. Bash is really needed. Three ha three damage, gain three armor. This is just like a tempo switcher. Fierce Monkey. Fierce Monkey is really good against aggressive decks. Four health is the magic number. And yes, Zeus can deal with it rather quickly, but because of the Iron uh, Dark Iron War, because of abusive surgeon. But hunters and paladins sometimes have issues with it. Frothing Berserker. This is kind of like your the way you can win, but it's also a way you can stop the aggression. There is a lot of three drops, as you can see, or two drops and three drops. There is this Bloodhoof Brave. Now, some people talked about Bloodhoof Brave in a rather bad way, and I think that it still has its place. It's a good arena card, but it's still an amazing anti-aggro card for uh, for Warrior. 
and this is right now I think a must have in a warrior deck just because it ha everyone has a hard time except for mage dealing six damage to a minion which means that very often you get at least 5-1 with taunt which is working and it very often leads to trades 2 for 1 and against smaller minions it can trade even better 3 for 1 is very common brawl must have at least one in every single warrior deck I, I don't know why I do it but um, I think that brawl is really necessary to have in every single deck because if you're losing this can make you lose less and if you have Sylvanas in uh, in there or they have Sylvanas it's actually kind of good. Still, still it's kind of good. You have Justicar Two Heart, uh, which is necessary once again for controlish warrior every single time. Just having four armor instead of two is a great deal. And if you combine it with Shield Slam, it's really amazing. Gromash Hell Scream, this is your main finisher every single time. Ten, 10 damage or 12 damage with the Cruel Taskmaster, that's why I have him in there. It's really good. Also, Cruel Taskmaster can be used against uh, annoying cards with one health. And there is some tempo in it, because right now this 2-2 kills a Knife Juggler well. It kills some of the very annoying 2-drops, which you have to deal with. Just, you have to. They are not really that powerful very often, but they have this, or powerful in terms of stats, but they have this interesting or rather annoying way of screwing the math. The next one is Sarah. Now this is your late game chip. I always want to have one late game chip, which is there just for like, if I'm gonna play against Shaman, if I'm gonna play against Druid, if I'm gonna play against Mage, I want to have this Isera there. Because they have probably used their removals on Frothing Berserkers, and or Gromash, and or Justicar, and or this Bloodhoof. So this has kind of free reign if you get it properly. So, this is the deck. I'm not gonna play it right now, I might play later on in the season, because right now it would just get rolled over. But, as Hunters and more aggressive decks might come out, this might definitely be the deck for you. Well, thanks for watching, and see you next time.